Hello, and welcome to another LCRA Historic Moment. Have you ever wondered how the Highland Lakes got that name? Well, the answer lies in LCRA's efforts to promote recreation on the lakes. The reason LCRA built the dams was to generate electricity, provide a reliable water supply, and bring some control over the massive floods that periodically struck the river. But even before the dams were finished, cities and counties were building roads to the lakes, and people were writing LCRA to learn when the lakes would be open for boating and picnics. That gave LCRA General Manager Max Starkey an idea. He arranged for LCRA to collaborate with state and federal agencies to produce an evaluation of the recreational potential of the lake region. That report, issued in 1941, suggested a name, the Highland Lakes of Texas, as a way to promote the region as a recreational haven. The report explained its choice for the name this way. The lakes were all located in the Texas Hill Country, and the drop in altitude from Lake Buchanan to Lake Austin was some 700 feet, greater than the drop in the altitude of the entire Mississippi River. The report concluded that seemed sufficient excuse to refer to them as the Highland Lakes. According to the report, this region was perfect as a recreational mecca. It was located in the central part of Texas, and it was scenic and underdeveloped. All these things made it perfect to meet the recreational needs of a state whose population was projected to grow by more than one-third to 8 million people by 1960. The report illustrated the activities that might be popular along the lakes. Some of them are common sites today, like fishing, or boating and sailing, or swimming and beach activities, and camping. But some other activities didn't quite make it, like campfire lectures, which apparently were popular park features at the time, or lawn bowling, which the report said had developed widespread appeal among young and old alike, or outdoor concerts at amphitheaters, which the report predicted would be ideal given the climate in Texas. You have to remember this was in the days before air conditioning and television became common features in Texas homes. So how did LCRA promote recreation on the Highland Lakes? We'll answer that question in our next segment.